Hello once again YouTube. Today we are going to install mods for Minecraft cracked version, the free version, or like the cracked version because I realize some people don't have the money to afford it or just don't want to put their credit card in. So anyways, let's get started. First off, you want to visit a website called mineshafter.info. I will put a link in the description to this, by the way. And typo. You know what? I'll just do this. Alright. Now, when you get to the website, you want to click on Downloads. Click on Proxy. Keep. And drag it onto your desktop. Which I'm not going to do because I already have it. Anyways, it'll come up as a folder. It'll look like this. You want to just keep it on your desktop. Click on it to run it. And then when it's done loading, you want to just click out of it in a folder or another Java thing will pop up and it'll just say Minecraft. This is the one you're going to keep, or the one that you're going to run to get the mods. That one, keep on your desktop, but don't run it for the mods. Next, you want to get the mods you want. Now, if it's, say, for the paintball, you do need Forge. And I have Forge right here, and I have the paintball mod. Now, what you want to do is go to the search bar, type in percent app data percent, and a folder called roaming will come up. You want to open that click on dot minecraft and if you don't have a folder already called mods just go ahead and delete it or I mean if make a new one sorry make a folder called just just mods just like that now since I already have forge installed I'm going to show you what it'll do but basically you want to click on that go, go, I'm sorry click on bin click on the just the minecraft open with winrar you do need winrar as well I will put that in the description too open with winrar exile that and what you want to do is open up the forge. And all these files are going to come up. Oops, and I just exited out of it. No, I did not. Maybe I did. Nope, alright. You just want to right click, select all, and drag and drop all of them in here. Since I already did this, I'm just going to cancel it because it's already in there. Now, what's going to drag in there is you see this folder called meta-inf. When that's done transferring to this, the minecraft.jar directory just go ahead and delete the meta in folder it'll be right in this area just, now you just want to exit out of both of those next you want to have the bin still open go to paintball I'm sorry the paintball.zip it'll be a .zip folder and another folder but it'll just be called paintball what you want to do is go ahead and go to the mods folder you created and drag and drop it right in there now, just want to put that right there, open up Minecraft, the modded version, and with this program you do not need any login or anything, just do that and then hit play offline. Multiplayer will work as long as you have a cracked server. So it's going to load up. Now it's going to say four mods loaded. First with Forge it'll just say three, but with other mod you'll have it. And then when to check you've got them, it'll be right there, you'll have Forge, Forge Mod Loader, and Coder Pack. Now you just want to go to single player, and I'm just going to click on another world from another video. You can just load up the world, hit, no, sorry, I guess I got to create a new world. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just going to get through this. Sorry for those difficulties. Anyways, open up the Minecraft, the normal Minecraft, not the shaft or proxy, just the normal Minecraft that came up after you loaded up the proxy. Again, play offline. It's going to load up the screen as normal. And again, it's got the mods loaded. Go to single player. And then just create a new world real quick. Let this load up real quick. Sorry, it's taking a while. Alright, now that it's finally loaded, I'm just gonna check to see if you got the mods. Just hit one of two, and you should see paintball. And there you go. You've got all the stuff you need. Alright, so 
Oh, that's it. Nice. Save and quit. Alright, let that run. So, yeah. By the way, if it does not have just where you drag and drop it into the mods folder and say it's got different directories you need to put stuff in, just follow the guide on that and you gotta drop it into the mine chat or Minecraft and open it with Winner, that dot jar. That's the directory you'll need to dra drag and drop any other mods or anything like that. But always make sure you ins don't open up Mine Chapter Proxy and leave these on a desktop. Open up Minecraft. It'll pop up after you open up that one for the first time. That is the one that will run the mods. This will just crash. So remember, that's key to use. Alright, well that ends it for today's video. Thanks for watching.